To you. Come to us about a foot. Keep going. Keep coming. Bring Keep that coming. Bitch over there. Right there. Having been in the construction business for over 35 years, and I've had the opportunity to build a lot of fine homes, but this is the first opportunity that I've had in my career to really exercise some of the techniques that make this home special. Over the years, we've always utilized good windows, good insulation factors, and things like that. But there have been numerous steps that we've taken along the way here, different products that we've used that really set this project aside from any other project I've worked on in my career. It's great that I've had the opportunity to work with Nick and uh, kind of help him implement his designs and his vision for the home that he's going to live in the rest of his life. Now all you want to do is zigzag just up, just take it all the way up through there. This side of the, mm -hmm. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Looks like I need more take material. More than yeah. That to be able to spread it. Yeah. Yeah. More than that. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna They're going to make that all one color. We want this to be opaque, and that's it. Today we're insulating our home here, our deep green dead zero home. The liquid house wrap that we have uh, installed on the house was a product that I've never used. It's being utilized a lot in commercial construction these days. We have an atypical exterior wall detail, which is our SIPS panels, which are filled with foam. So for our ceiling insulation, uh, we've created an 18-inch floor cavity up here using an 18-inch open web floor truss and then we've applied a netting on the bottom of that and uh, then the blown cellulose fills up that 18-inch cavity there. The cellulose product is a recycled paper product that has been treated with a borax product to prevent infestation of bugs and mice. Uh, has a little dry adhesive mixed in with it and then it's moistened as they spray it in so that it stays in place. There's a small slit cut in the netting that we've installed on the bottom of our trusses. They feed the hose into the center point and uh, then he's able to activate the blower with his remote here to start feeding the blown insulation into the ceiling as we speak. There's a blower in the truck. Uh, there's two hoses, one that carries the product in another one that vacuums up the spillage off the floor and sends it back to the truck to recycle it through on the next round. Why would people not choose to spend a little extra money to minimize their utility bills, to uh, preserve the environment, use recycled products? Both Nick and I would hope that this home would help set the bar for some of the standards that will be used in Columbia over the next several years. Uh, you know, I, I'm nearing the end of my career, uh, but certainly hope that this gives us the opportunity to showcase this home and to convince a few other people that this is the way they ought to go with their construction techniques. Mm -hmm.